Hi guys, this is Faye from Faze World Media. In this very short video, I want to show you how I use the Gen Image feature directly from Adobe Express. So if you're already familiar with Adobe's Firefly, then you probably find this to be pretty intuitive. I love using Firefly AI features directly from within Adobe Express. As I'm recording this, you can also access their partner models as well, such as Nano Banana. Have fun with it. I want to show you how I transform traditional Chinese art using Adobe stock imagery as image references alongside with very simple prompt. I'm hosting a giveaway that ends at noon Eastern Standard Time on November 24th, 2025. I'm giving away not one, but 10 Adobe Express premium subscription free of charge and more information is in the description below. I'm going to list a link for you to check it out and hope we connect and stay as friends. I'll see you at the end of the video. And this is an example of a Chinese dragon, the Qing Dynasty dragon my mom painted. And when she did it actually on watercolor paper this time and we framed it oh, just like that. Okay, okay. Well, we both realized as soon as this dragon sat inside a frame, we said the background is a little empty, isn't it? It's just, it's a, uh, we realized we need to add something. Now, my mom is very capable of start painting right away, but she said, what if she can have some visual reference? I see her using Adobe stock to look for Chinese watercolor mountains and things like that. Right. But I said, we could actually mock it up. Okay. She has only looked at dragons and the clouds and images in separation, but never really combined them. So what I did was let's go into Gen AI. And then in this case, we just need images. So I'm going to generate an image in this case, I think roughly portrait in this little square right now. You can just do it literally all on the same canvas. I can say a Chinese a watercolor, clouds and sky. And then you'll notice right now at the bottom, I don't have any reference image on the left-hand side here. So there are different models that you can choose from. I usually de just default to Firefly yep. image three for now. I say art and what's popular. Again, you can specify so much, but for the purpose of this demo, we're gonna do it quick and see what are color clouds and sky can look like. And then I'm gonna resize this. Oh. It's really pretty. And then the reason why I want some Chinese elements is because I really wanted to be true to her work. Ooh. Obviously on the right hand side, you can move these layers very easily. Yeah. Now you'll notice the dragon, it's cool, but the dragons disappeared a little bit into yeah. this. So what I typically do is highlight the background again and simply change when I demonstrate to my mom, if there are traditional artists out there, I just simply choose opacity so she can, real Chinese color mm. is more diluted and this is the look and feel. So for that kind of follow that path, what we have done is these are some of the examples Wow. Yeah, but what if some of these images still look a little bit too Western? Okay. So instead, what we do is go into Adobe Stock Photos. By the way, I truly think the Adobe Stock Photos have the highest quality photos when yeah. you see them. Luckily, I was able to regenerate this. So if we were going to use a visual reference from Adobe Stock, here's what it looks like. So we're going to try to generate an image again. And this time around, I'm going to use an image reference. And you can use both style and composition, which Ted talked about. For me, in this case, some of these gorgeous oh, wow. images from yeah. Adobe Stock, some black and white for yeah. variation. So in this case, I'm going to use the first one here. And you can see this being attached, Chinese watercolor clouds. And instead of placing mm -hmm. that image as the background, you're still mm -hmm. generating something so it matches the tone and the colors of the dragon. Exactly. That okay. Yeah. I thought you were going to just place it behind it. But. Uh, yeah, that's another way as well. The reason sometimes I prefer yeah. to use a visual reference is so I can get, I might like an image when sometimes you find the perfect, the perfect stock image, but sometimes you're like, I love that style, but it's not quite, I want yeah. just to see a few more variations. Okay. So here, if you don't like the first few examples, the variation is pretty subtle, as you can see on the left-hand side, you can always click on generate more. So for example, I like this just less even. So I don't want something too symmetrical. So mm -hmm. I can drop this. It's a simple process. I drop this it in. It really is. For the amazing results, it's, it's a simple process. Yeah, absolutely. I can still apply opacity. And, and obviously the star of the show is your mom's art, which is beautiful. You can still keep that and just make it even better. So yeah, it's, wow. it's so cool. Now That's in her cool. final painting, it's not going to look exactly like that, but for her to have that yeah. bounce off some creative ideas, yeah. some feedback. So then she will take this and then paint 
as an idea. So she, this will be her inspiration and then she will just go do it. Exactly, what Got she it. does, she can use this as a background for consideration, but as she paints her, the real actual painting, she will make changes. She might look at this to say, oh, wouldn't it be great if there are more greens on the mountain? What if maybe mm. I reduce the clouds? And it just, it's amazing to see like, this. <laughs> yeah, how little help yeah. this is compared to, she feels like, now I can really visualize it. She likes to use this process then. Exactly. Okay. And she still struggles a little bit just because my mom is not like a digital native. Sure. For, for me to be able to do this with her is so easily, not having to go through so many different clicks and explain everything, yeah. play with layers. Like Yeah, this is straightforward for sure. Yeah, like a minute yeah. or two, um, you have some something new. <laughs> Thank you.